All right, I have turned my jacket. Uh, this is the outside of my jacket. So I'm gonna start pressing. This is the place where you really need to take your time. You're gonna work it through in your fingers uh, and you wanna roll your seams. I always press with the side up that is the side we're not going to see. So that's why I'm starting with my under collar and I've started at the back of my under collar. And you know what I mean when I say rolling your seams. I mean, I'm, you're gonna roll back and forth. So I just see the slightest edge of, let's see if I can get closer. So I just wanna see the slightest, slightest edge of my upper collar at the end of my under collar. And I'm gonna make sure that this corner right here, my notch, I haven't pressed this yet. I wanna make sure I'm gonna get inside there, make sure that my seam allowances are all laying nice and flat. So I'm gonna start with my upper collar. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna start with the under collar facing up and I'm gonna use steam, use a press cloth uh, as needed. And you are gonna use plenty of steam and you're gonna be slow about it. Methodical, I guess, is a better way to put it. And once you've pressed an area and once you've steamed it, if you have a clapper, remember the clapper is the wooden um, piece that you can use and you're going to use it and you can push it down and just hold it. Uh, and remember a wooden clapper pulls the heat and the steam up out of your fabric and that helps cool it off and set it. Well, if you don't have a clapper, you can use your hand. And I'm gonna pat this. What I'm doing is I'm cooling it off and I'm also pushing it down. Once that is cool, move on to the next section. Now, you want to make sure you're keeping as much of your coat supported as possible as you're doing this because we want it to be, um, it's still, you know, we just don't want to pull anything out of shape. So now, this is the front of my jacket, so what's going to actually show, remember, is the lapel. So I'm going to press from the jacket side and see how I roll it in my fingers so that I'm just seeing the very, very, very edge of the facing side without burning myself I'm going to press I want to give a lot of attention up here to the notch it's pulling a little bit I want to make sure my jacket again is I've got the tiniest ironing board in the world but I want to make sure my jacket's supported so I'm not pulling all my hard work out of the way but look how nice and smooth and flat that is and then up here in the corner we want to smooth and we want to make sure we're doing the same thing up there we have a nice corner and a nice point I'm going to give it some steam we're going to pat, 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 pat until it's cool. We want this to cool off because we're, we're putting the shape in this jacket. And if I move it before it's cool, I'm just going to distort it and, and pull things out of shape. So what I want to show you that's important is I go down, work my way down the front. I can actually see there's my stitching lines from my um, when I taped the roll line. And I know that three inches below that approximately is the bottom of my roll line. Well, we know that on the front of a jacket, right, this will go back to form my lapel. So to the bottom of my roll line, I still want to roll so that the facing is ever so slightly showing this is now the front of the jacket and I see a tiny little bit of the facing right there. Now, when I get down below the roll line, going down around to the bottom of the jacket, I'm actually going to flip my jacket over and I'm gonna press from the facing side. And here I want to roll, move it up so you can see. So the bottom of my roll line is Oops, where you can't see it, is right here. And so now, as I'm rolling this, 
rolling my seam in my fingers, I'm ever so slightly, and at the roll line is where it changes, I'm ever so slightly now making sure that I'm pressing from the facing side, I'm making sure that the front side of my jacket is the one that I ever see ever so slightly. So we switch at the roll line. So press from the jacket side, from the roll line up to the lapel, and from the bottom of the roll line, you press from the facing side so that you can make sure that we don't see the facing from the outside here at the bottom. And remember, press so much, cool it off. If you have a clapper, use a clapper, hold it down on it to pull the heat out. If you don't have a clapper, um, it's perfectly fine to use your hand. Don't burn yourself, but if you're going to use your hand, pat. But you can see the difference. So here's the side that's pressed and nice and beautifully flat. And here is my side that hasn't been obviously pressed yet. But even finger pressing it, you can see it's, it's puffy. So we want this a beautiful press. Take your time. Because once you finish all of this pressing, I'm going to show you what to do on the inside of the collar to stabilize this all together.